Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm here again. Lishan Wilson coming to you with a second, a next tutorial. Sorry. Um, for Munch Muncher, I think that's, that's your name. You ask how to put a light on an operating contactor, which in, is a very simple procedure. Just look and I'll, I'll demonstrate how it goes first, and then I'll explain the whole procedure. Uh, I'm pressing my start button here. As you see, my cord is slammed in, and my, and my, light, my light is on. Don't worry about the light, the light is a 220 light on a 110 volt circuit, so don't worry about that. Um, and it's off. Again, and it's on. Now what you basically do is, you come out of your stop button, I'm hoping that you should know how to wire a stop, stop and start button, stop and start buttons, yeah. Um, what you do is, normally, you will go to your overload, you normally close part of your overload with the neutral, and you go directly to your light. So my neutral, gone directly to my light, just... Through a, through a auxiliary on the overload. So that's that's the first thing you do. The second thing is you have to take a wire off your normally closed part of your stop button, which is there, take a wire and you put it through an auxiliary. If you don't get this, you, you can check my next video about a holding circuit. This part is my holding circuit. So you can check out the next video. For now I'm just gonna demonstrate, I'm just, I'm just gonna go through the procedure of how to do the light itself. Now what I did is, my contactor coil already has two wires inside there, so I can't really bother with that. So normally, because the holding circuit has to flips in, flip in to keep the coil slammed in, I took a wire coming from the top of my, my well, I'll say the back of my holding circuit, goes to a goes to a next auxiliary, normally open, and it comes out here, and it goes to my light. So my my light has both live and neutral. Keep that in mind. I couldn't fit it in the coil. So I took it from the back of an auxiliary on the holding circuit to the uh, to a next auxiliary, normally open. Remember that, and it comes out and it goes to my coil. It goes to my light. That's a basic procedure, but I need you to be careful when you're doing this because you might end up getting the coil being slammed, slammed, slamming, slamming, and the the, white, the the light will not turn on. So keep in mind, two wires from, from the normally closed part of your stop button, from the normally closed part, one wire for the holding circuit. This other wire is from my coil. This is from my holding circuit. And this wire is from my coil itself. So when my coil slams in, it stays in. So this is my holding circuit. As you see, the auxiliary is shifting. Look on this side here, it is shifting as well. The auxiliary itself is shifting as well. So that only tells you that the top here, which is normally closed, is normally open. And the bottom part, which is normally open, becomes normally closed, that continues the circuit straight to my light. And that's basically how you do it. Um, if any more questions, you can just send me a message. I'll be here to explain to you. And that's basically it. That's that's all I can say to you right now. Um, is, there, is there anything else? I think I think that's it. So just start and stop. My stop button. As you see, my auxiliaries are out. My contactor coil is out. The contactor coil controls the auxiliary. Keep that in mind as well. My neutral goes through my overload, so in just in case the motor is overloading, it breaks the continu it breaks the continuity for the neutral, so the contactor slams out. The, co the contactor is de-energized. The, con the coil slams out, and it breaks off the light. I'm gonna start it, and it's on. Now, if I was to press the test button on my overload, it should stop, and that's it. And as you see, that little green thing right there, it came out. That means it's overload. If I just reset it. It gone down, so that means I'm back and I'm ready to operate again. And I start that. And that's my light. Remember, you just use a normally open auxiliary. You can do this any any other way, but this is the the best way to do it using auxiliary. And that's how you do it. God bless you, my friend.